I can't believe you? this. They told me you were going to wear this outfit. I know. I'm going to go what visit is... the uh, police dog squad today. You are? Vance I know one of the guys down there. Do you really? Yeah, uh, uh, Bobby. Bobby, okay. You I'll say hello to Bobby, Bobby for, for okay. you. Okay. This dog isn't just out for a walk. He's working. This is a police dog. And every day, police dogs go to work with their masters to help stop or solve crimes. A police dog is a special kind of animal that can learn all the things that it takes to be a member of the police force. I'm with the Vancouver Police Department's dog squad, and I'm talking to head honcho, Sergeant Tom Carroll. Uh, Tom, can you tell me how long they've used dogs in the Vancouver Police Department? Vancouver Police Department first got the dog squad in 1962, so we've had it for 20 years now. Have they always used dogs uh, in policing? Does it go back centuries, or how long have they used dogs? Yes, dogs have been used for an awfully long time. If you go back into your history books, you'll see that uh, police dogs, or some sort of dog, has been used in criminal apprehensions. And today we're going to see uh, Bobby, which is the dog, and his master. Do they have any special names for masters? The master is affectionately known as Dad. So we're going to see Bobby and his dad today. Exactly. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm in the grooming area with uh, Bobby. Hey, you look just like your picture. And uh, his dad, John Hind. How long uh, do you have to be in the police force before you can get onto the, the dog squad? Are there special rules? Well, they like you to be on at least three years. Three to five years is about what they like. They like you to have a, a house at home so we can keep and a home to keep the dog. And they, if you can, and it's not a not mandatory, but they'd like you to have kids. If you have kids, it gets them socialized and gets the dog used to playing with kids and being around kids so that there's no problem if we're out on the street and we see little kids around. Little kids running around. How long have you and Bobby been together as a team? Uh, last March I met him. In March we got him and we started training and we trained for three months every day, five days a week for about uh, eight hours a day. And they like, they figure that it'll be about a year. It takes the first year before they're really working hard and working good. So he's just, just passing a rookie then, is he? Yeah, he's just passed. <laughs> when we get back, Bobby's going to go through the obstacle course and show us some of the things that he does in a normal day. Zigzag! Bobby and John and I are on the obstacle course. And John, can you tell me what they use the obstacle course for? Yes, they use the obstacle course to uh, train the dog how to get into the city and around and over fences, through lanes, into buildings, any places that are difficult. We try to train them here for what they'll find out on the road. On the real world, right. So use it as an exercise program as well as a, mm -hmm. a training program. We try to refresh them, say, every couple of days or every day. We try to give them a little bit of exercise. So they go over the fences? Yes, they go over fences. And, and through uh, tunnels? Through tunnels, tires. We like to train them with height, see if they can get over or not be afraid of heights, so different surfaces on the ground, things Up like that. Up and down things, and then through tunnels as well. Mm -hmm. Right, they really have a really good workout. And how are you doing, Bobby? He's just such a nice dog. He's a little tired right now, so when we get back, maybe we can show him doing some other things as well. Oh, nice dog. He's cute. <laughs> Hi. Whoa, that <laughs> was nice. <laughs> Aww. Zigzag. Zigzaggers, I'm going to see how good a tracking dog Bobby really is. I'm going to hide this sack right in here, and we're going to see if he can find it. Okay, I'm just going to call. Okay, John. Bobby, you want to come see if you can find this? Bobby and his dad, John, are doing an area search right now. He's really having to rely on his nose. He's searching for it. And he's getting really warm. And he's found the sack. That is terrific. Did it in really a short period of time. He's an excellent training dog, and I'm certainly glad I'm not a sack. Zigzag! Uh, John, can you tell us one of the most exciting things that you and Bobby were involved in? Uh, yes, what we... I can't really tell you one. I know that they're all exciting to me, and I'm sure the dog really likes it. What we, uh, what sticks in my mind is usually the last one or whatever. The last one we had was um, some prowlers in an underground parking lot at an apartment building. And uh, we got there two or three minutes later, put the dog into the underground area, and he barked, got down there, lots of scent down there, ran right out, which surprised me, down the lane, and right down into the next underground. And he barked, and he was attacking a car when I got there. And these people that had been in the other one we're in the midst of stealing a car in this other underground. They were stealing another one? Yeah, oh and they were just 
It was really good. He was, he was just surrounding the car and barking at it. And he you're all around. in about how long? How, how long would it have taken him? Oh, about 20 seconds, probably, that's all. So he's, he's really replacing a lot of policemen, and he can really find out where he's Oh, yeah, for. he can do a lot of work. It would take a long time to search a whole lane like that. Right. So, so these police dogs are really valuable. And uh, maybe you zigzaggers, if you have a German Shepherd, one day it could, too, become a police dog. I have to make a really quick ending here because John's just gotten a call to go. Tom, I'd like to thank you very much for a great morning. And uh, good luck and thanks very much, John. Okay, we'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye, Bobby. Yeah! Hey. Well. <laughs> I said hello to Bobby for you. Did you? You're, oh, Did he's you a whoop? dog. Yeah, he's a, he's what a, a dog. Cute. <laughs>